Welcome back, Cyber Traders, on this lovely Tuesday. Hopefully, everyone had a great President Weekend. Good to see you all. Welcome back. All right, good to see you, Bonnie. Good to see you, Phil, everybody. Cyber Traders, hopefully, everybody's ready to start uh, enjoying a maybe a pretty exciting week. Market's down about 144 points, getting a little correction. Oh, wow, Walmart came back. Wow, interesting. If not meeting earnings, Apple taking a little big hit. Uh, so I guess we had a lot of action over the weekend. We all know what's happening with coronavirus. And uh, it's, I, I personally think we're going to have a, you know, a short-term little crash in the market due to, let's see, so what's happening with Apple right now. Apple's taking a little bit of correction right now. And it uh, looks like they're going to have problems doing all those orders. But I think it's, I think it's just a short-term thing. I don't think it's anything to be big. But uh, a lot of good stuff that's going on. We're going to talk about the... Tesla, Tesla's doing great, but I really want to talk specifically about what's going on with space. And this is not SpaceX, okay? This is another company. So SPCE is doing phenomenal. The stock has not only been a uh, great day trade, it's been a phenomenal, phenomenal swing trade. So the stock has been doing really, really well. Uh, you could see it went from 6 all the way to 15. We're going to keep this one on our watch list. Uh, the other big one I do want to point out that, um, like I told you, uh, this is a stock that we've been watching for a little bit of a, a, a while now, and uh, you could see how it's been trading us pretty well. Once again, how do you become a very good day trader? You become a very, you know, I mean, a good swing trader, you got to become a very good day trader first. But other stocks that we did trade it on Friday before we start getting through the watch list, uh, I just want to kind of mention for some of you that missed some of the stocks that we, we traded. This stock was awesome right here, steady, nice trend, PAVE. Uh, P A I'm sorry, P A P A V M. The stock, beautiful trend right there. Look at that stock, a buck forty to two thirty for the past several days. It was up every day. Nice, nice, steady move. But looks like she's backing off uh, right here. And S D C, another nice little stock. Um, got crushed on Friday off um, N B C nightly news report. And you can see, listen, sometimes that does the news does help. <laughs> it does help. But uh, but that's you know what wasn't. It wasn't the greatest day on Friday, and I told you that, you know, Friday morning was pretty good, but I told you it wasn't going to really be that great. You know, it's a long weekend. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but my kids are off from school this week, so um, I'm actually going to be on vacation today, but I did not want to miss my morning meetings with you guys. It's one of the biggest things I look forward to every morning, so I will be on vacation, so Josh and the staff are going to take care of you, all right, guys? So uh, don't worry about me. You know, that's the great thing about it. Stock market's not going out of business. But uh, but I'll try to make my money quick this morning and hop on a train. Anyway, I mean, a train, a plane. So anyway, a couple of stocks that are making some big moves this morning. Let's let's touch upon the big one that you're hearing a lot about. Let's talk about Tesla. Okay, so Tesla. Listen, um, I was talking to a couple of people, uh, you know, over the weekend, friends of mine that are big big traders at a lot of big firms here in New York. And let me tell you, some of these guys get crushed. Okay, uh, I think even the other rumor. Everybody know about uh, the the guy that wants to buy the Mets, Cohen. Well, this guy's a huge, huge, uh, uh, you know, a hedge fund guy on Wall Street. Apparently, I heard he's short the stock. And, uh, you know, the rumor about this stock's looking to be bought out by Google at 1500 You know what? I don't know about you notice anything about that little long-term trade right here, but guys. But does that look like a little bit like a Fausto flag to you? Okay. I don't know about you, but that sure looks like one to me. So, uh, not looking too well. Anyway, nice little move on Tesla, but once again, we know we can't trade this stock. But for some of you who don't know how to trade options, this could be right up your alley. Now, a couple of the stocks, the main ones we want to look at that we can afford, BLPH. All right, so this stock obviously gapped up really, really nicely this morning. You can see we're up from $340 to $6, up 63%. The stock has been taking a, a beating for the past month. It went from $6 down to almost, right down to $3. 340 all the way back up right at that resistance levels right here the only thing I do not like about this stock is I'm not getting I'm not getting level three quotes on it right now so it is a penny stock you could tell by the tenths of the penny on the chart so you know we're not one thing listen just because the stock you think is that over a dollar does not make it a small cap stock the only reason I like about small cap stocks it's very very hard to see where the big buyers and sellers are so that's the only thing that concerns me about. But doesn't mean we still can't make money with it. MITO, another stock that made my watch list right here. The stock got destroyed, went from 14, gap down. You guys remember this back in December, went to six, 
stock continue to go lower. Well, guess what? Gapped up this morning. But why is it going back down? It was at 350 this morning. It's down to 280. You know, I'm looking over here on my uh, level four platform. And there was a pretty big seller. Looks like he left right now. But there's some big sellers right now around 360. I see a 15,000 share seller, 3,000. Not seeing any buyers out there. So that's not a good sign. So as of right now, I would stay away from it. Uh, ben saying the AMRN. You know, he made about 20 cents on that one right there. Oops, typed in a wrong one. AMRN. Yeah, I was going to get to that one. You beat me. You always beat me to it, Ben. I, could you give, could, give me, can I just get up to it for just for a second? Uh, anyway, uh, so that was stock has a nice little pop. You know, that stock also took a big hit. Great orders out there. You could see how the stock, you got a resistance levels right now at 838. You got a 4,000 share seller. Shows exactly why it backed off, and that's why Ben probably... Made his 20 cents on that trade. Let's give him a round of applause. Way to go. Always nice to start the morning with a nice little profit, right? Right for the, everyone else. You got that one, uh, WSG. Let's bring up that one right here. Another one that's very inexpensive, up 19%. Got really nice orders. Look at these 10,000 share buyers out there, right there at 349, 5,000, 5,000 shares. We've got, nice, got some nice iceberg orders out there. And that's pretty big orders for a stock only traded 100,000 shares. So, uh, but it's got, it's got a major problem right here. It's got a major resistance back in January. It's got a major resistance back in, um, in November. It's got to break that. If it can get through that, then the stock could be off to the races. Uh, okay. Yeah. So that one looks pretty good. That one's on a watch list. A couple of more that we got here, shockingly for a, you know, coming back on a, a big weekend. So this one also VIVE, you know, the stock very, very well. We trade the stock. Over the course of the year, we watch this thing get destroyed. Guess what? Probably it's starting to be a dead cat bounce now. Stock's up 14%, 600,000 shares. Look at all those orders out there on the right. This stock's got orders everywhere, which is exactly what we're looking for. We need to follow the tape, see if those stocks get executed. Could be an easy one for you guys to track the trend. Another one that is also doing well is Ben. B-E-N, this one got a nice big iceberg order out there at 83 100 shares at 27.45. Stock has done phenomenal since 7.30 this morning. This is one of the stocks that I found this morning. Look how beautiful the stock. If you were here at 7.45, you could have, should have got in around 6.26. You know what? You sell it now. You're at 27.50. I don't know about you, but I would be jumping on the plane right now, and I would take my buck 50 any day of the week. That one also is on the watch list. And then we got the space, and we got the uh, AMRN. So we got a pretty good list of stocks. Now, remember... We're coming back from a big weekend, ladies and gentlemen. We don't want to get too cocky. We want to see, you know, if you didn't get into any position so far, uh, you know, and you didn't make uh, make money like we usually do in pre-market, that's okay. Then wait for the first five minutes of the open. When the market opens up, we'll start commentating over there, all right? Now, um, last thing before we go, just remember, very, very important, everybody. Today is a very big day. We're going to be doing our um, open house today at 11 o'clock, not 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock. So at 11 o'clock, we're going to do an open house, and we're going to, uh, I'm going to talk about level three and level four again, which is what we always do, and tell you a little bit about Cybertrain University. Everybody should be done before 10.30 here. Remember that. It's the first hour. So go out there, tell everybody about it. Let's try to recruit some more traders. Let's see if they qualify, uh, if they want to be part of the team or not, and uh, we'll tell them a little about CTU. So come out there and just cheer us on. All right, guys, anything I'm missing before I go? Ben said he made another 24 cents. Shocker. <laughs> Look at you. just banging away, you. You couldn't wait for a Tuesday. Uh, it was an AGRX. There you go. Nice little bounce. Uh, Bonnie says, worth watching the SEEL. Yeah, nice little push right there. Um, you know, just me personally, I don't like to trade stocks under a dollar because we're dealing with tenths of a penny. Uh I like to wait to kind of break there a little bit, but it looks like it's kind of holding there pretty strong. It is a nice call. It's got some age support levels from October, November, and also a couple of days ago. So, yeah, not too bad. Keep an eye on it. All right. Okay, guys, listen, good luck today. Happy trading. You got your, you got your list. You got your agenda for today. So uh, let's go out there and just be safe. Just don't get too cocky. It is, a, it is a day after a major, major holiday. A lot of people are away this week. A lot of kids are up from school this week. I'm not going to expect it to be a super exciting week, but hey, you never know. I've been wrong before, so 
just but just always remember tip of the day always take the money all right good luck everyone happy trading